Welcome to my portfolio for EDCT 6901 Special Topics Workshop. This is my self-directed project module. If you're interested in resources presented in this module, links, including the finished poster session, are available on my site. Navigate this site using the sidebar menu or the topic module graphics. This is my self-directed project. My self-directed project is an iPoster for the ACRL conference this spring. ACRL is the Association of College and Research Libraries, a division of the American Library Association. Conferences are held biannually. This year we are in Cleveland. Posters are one type of the program session offered. Most often they are located in the exhibit hall at specific no-conflict times throughout the conference. Poster sessions are peer-reviewed. Submissions require an abstract, short description, and outcomes. This year is the first time posters will be delivered as iPosters on 55-inch interactive touchscreens. My poster is Instructional Design, Student Worker Training, and LibGuides. It is a review of two instructional design projects developed for training Instructional Resource Center student workers. The iPoster image is linked and should be available throughout the conference. A few of the resources developed for the poster are presented here. Featured are overview videos, design module graphics, project assessment information, a PDF of full poster content, an infographic, and an audio file of the poster overview. Links for further reading about ACRL, the ACRL conference, and iPosters are provided. Let's take a closer look at my project. Posters were developed on the iPoster session platform. A webinar with tips for use and a fax page were provided to users. Three template choices were available. I selected the Metro Style option as it offered a large area for video or infographic. Some customization was possible for templates. While adjusting box size or location was not one of them, presenters could set up a background color or images and adjust color for university branding. I selected an image of the Instructional Resource Center and National University colors for my poster. Each template box has a WYSIWYG editor with basic elements and options for images, video, and audio. The bottom box had two possibilities, slideshow, video, and images. There was a limit to the number of slides, so I opted for an infographic. This is a live preview of my finished poster. At the top of the page is the title and author details, accompanied by a photo of AU Library, and a QR code for locating the poster later. The poster is divided into two projects with similar details featured on the left and the right side. The bottom box is the infographic of both projects with instructional design modules applied. When viewing online, selecting Open will engage individual boxes. The touch screens will work in the same manner. IRC Training Modules is the project overview. It has a video and accompanying transcript. There are also links to the projects. Here's a snippet of the video. Systems Approach module is a graphic of the instructional design model. Clicking on the graphic enlarges it for viewing. IRC Training Modules, Assessment, Feedback, and Revision 
provides assessment and outcomes, assessment results, and learner feedback. LibAnswers Tutorial is the project overview. It has a video and accompanying transcript. The video follows a similar format. Direct Instruction Model is a graphic of the model used to develop the course. Clicking on the graphic enlarges it for viewing. LibAnswers Tutorial, Assessment, Feedback, and Practice includes Assessment and Outcomes, Assessment Results, Learner Feedback, and plan for practice. The final element is the infographic. A traditionally designed infographic would not expand when the box was selected. This infographic is a series of five separate images that can be viewed as one, or they can be viewed individually in chunks. There's a series of informational buttons at the bottom of the poster. The audio presentation is an overview of navigation for the poster. Welcome to Instructional Design, Student Worker Training, and LibGuides. Next is author information, the poster abstract and session outcomes, poster references, contact information for the author, and two buttons seen only by the poster designer. There are a number of design decisions to keep in mind for this project. While a multimedia presentation, the exhibit hall does not lend itself to viewing full videos. More often than not, there are small crowds of attendees viewing the same poster at one time. I had initially attended for the infographic section to be a video tour of both projects. Great for online viewing after the conference, it was not appropriate for single viewers. Thank you for viewing my self-directed project poster.